Chapter 40 Avoiding Activity The movement of the Tao by contraries proceeds, and weakness marks the course of Tao's mighty deeds. All things under heaven sprang from it as existing and named, that existence sprang from it as non existent and not named. Homeward is reason's course, weakness is reason's force. Heaven and earth and the ten thousand things come from existence, but existence comes from non-existence. Retirement is characteristic of Tao, just as weakness appears to be a characteristic of its activity. Heaven and earth and everything are produced from existence, but existence comes from non-existence. The passage begins by illuminating the paradoxical nature of the Tao's movement. It operates in a manner contrary to conventional expectations, embracing the principle of reversal and contradiction. What may seem weak or insignificant holds immense power within the Tao's unfolding. This notion echoes the Taoist concept of Wu Wei, or effortless action, which suggests that true strength lies in yielding to the natural flow of life, rather than in forceful exertion. The passage delves into the cyclical nature of existence, highlighting the interplay between existence and non-existence. All things in the world emerge from the Tao existing and named, yet their existence ultimately arises from the void of non-existence and namelessness. This cyclical movement reflects the eternal dance of creation and dissolution, where the Tao continually generates and reabsorbs the myriad forms of the universe. In contemplating the dynamic interplay of existence and non-existence, the passage invites us to transcend our limited notions of reality and to embrace the fluidity of existence, rather than clinging to fixed identities or fixed outcomes, we are encouraged to flow with the ever-changing currents of life trusting in the inherent wisdom of the Tao. Moreover, the passage suggests that true mastery lies in dispensing with the need for conventional means or strategies. So, instead of relying on external tools or techniques, we are called to tap into the innate power of the Tao which operates through subtlety and spontaneity. This aligns with the Taoist principle of simplicity and non-interference, reminding us that true effectiveness arises from a state of inner harmony and attunement with the Tao. So, in essence, the 40th chapter of Tao Te Ching offers insights into the nature of the Tao and its relationship with the world. It invites us to embrace the paradoxes of existence, to trust in the inherent wisdom of the Tao, and to cultivate a state of effortless alignment with the natural flow of life.